don't play with me, don't play with me. Nah, nah. Nah, 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 how we're back. On Box29 News, where if you link news report, we can box right on 29 for my beat the fuck right out of you niggas. That's all true with your boy Chad Mackens in the back, Mackens and back, guys, yeah, the person on that. First off, like the YouTube world, baby! What is wrong with me? I really got to have some type of disorder, bipolar, schizophrenia, ADHD to the max or something. However, I appreciate everybody who like, comment, subscribe. Even if you do not like, comment, subscribe, I appreciate you for coming to look at me in the face talk my shit. You feel me? However, today's episode is sponsored by Billy Wireless, 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 Wireless. There's one of seven stuff footage. What is footage, 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 footage. For your laptop, iPhone, Android, Apple Watch, and iPad needs, wants, repairs, accessories. If you need your Xbox, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, clean, fix, HDMI ports, banged all up, please carry your ass down to Philly Wireless, Wireless, Wireless. Tell them Chair Mackins in the back, packing some bad guys in Central. It's wrong. However, breaking news, breaking news, breaking fucking news. So we have. Mr. Ash Ketchum! If you do not know who Mr. Ash Ketchum is, he is actually the young man that was sentenced for fatally shooting a 12-year-old girl. Clearly, I don't have to read that because I just paraphrased it with whatever I just said. You feel me? However, I am going to send over my sister company so they can further explain. Take it away, please. Continue. Major was sentenced for the murder of a 12-year-old girl. I know you remember this story. A Ben Salem teen. Look at my man. This is the shit that I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Now, I'm not justifying nothing. I'm not bigging him up. However, he's standing on it. I got to zoom in. He ain't got his head down. He ain't got no cover over his head. When black niggas do dumb shit, this the reaction we get. It wasn't me. Don't show my face. I'm embarrassing my parents. I swear to God. However, Ash Ketchum, in the day daylight, nigga got his face super exposed. Everything you will spend at least, at least 15 years in, in state, state prison, prison after admitting she shot and killed a 12 year old who she called her best friend then oh, messaged what? an acquaintance for help cleaning up and getting rid of the body ash cooper who previously went by joshua cooper was sentenced to 15 to 40 years i knew i wasn't tripping I know I ain't have been to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, none of them institutions. I'm not the smartest nigga in the world. I knew I wasn't tripping and talking about her. She, what? That's Josh. Josh, your name is not Ash. And I know this nigga better not be at no female facility. He better got boot dance or finish those Smithfield camp before us. Rob, you, I'll be our chest of mine with Franklin, Hunting and Dallas, Green. One of them recreational sentence. He better be with them with some big strong niggas. Some, some niggas that he been home in 30 years. He better not be up there with no female with that ping ping thing thing and his little wing wing. You feel me? Dancing you. In state prison. Uh, they admitted to killing 12 year old Morgan Connors in Ben Salem. This is two years ago now. Yeah. Cooper shot the victim at a, the uh, mobile home park on Gibson Road before telling a friend about the crime on Instagram. Stupid. That's what you get. Talking about, uh, talking about Ash. That's not AI, Ash, nigga. That is Josh. So Josh, when you get there, nigga, calls. Let us know. What's your name now, nigga? What is wrong? In other news, we at the Hot and Seek Champion. If you do not know who the hide and seek champion is, he's actually Mr. Isaiah Tillman. Part about his legs, I get to do this, says P 
Pennsylvania prison escape me Isaiah Tillman. Catcher. I hope that's a Tillman. In Philadelphia. Uh, where else was he going to go? A prisoner who escaped a Western Pennsylvania prison late last year has been recaptured in Philadelphia. U.S. Marshals announced Friday. When did y'all start looking? Law enforcement have been searching for Isaiah Robert Tillman, 33, since he escaped from Blair County Prison back on December 3rd. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh. That nigga had a good run. Nigga, it is March. Where was you at? However, nigga, you just made it worse. So I don't know who the district attorney is of Blair County. However, I'm pretty sure he's gonna slap the f <laughs> Why you know how these stupid ass? You boot ass of Peter Smithfield Capital Forest, rock you, I'll be on chest of my own dollars, frack no green. How did what are the recreation systems you get in the calls? Let us know. Where was you at? You nigga, you was good. What the f is wrong? In other news. No, we at Mr. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> if you do not remember Mr. Speedy Gonzalez, he is actually Mr. Aline Borden, the man who had uh, ran from the police when he was handcuffed. I said, golly, that nigga fast in the mug. That nigga had his hand out of that book. <laughs> you feel me? Then somebody called him an Uber, got him out of here. However, somebody asked for an update like, dang, what happened to Speedy Gonzalez? He ran out of gas. Yes, rap. They caught him. Yep. So, poor about his is like you going to say, escape a little prisoner. Eileen Borden, arrested, you are, Marshall say. I'm probably not going to have to read this because he probably won't say the same thing in this uh, video. So, take it away, please. Into you. Handcuffed with a U.S. Marshal escort, a Philadelphia escapee. Them niggas. Them niggas had handcuffs on his ankle this time. They said, fool us once, shame on you. Fool us twice, nigga. Won't be this time, nigga. Continue. Has been recaptured. Authorities tracked down 29-year-old Aline Borden all the way in western Pennsylvania. He chose an attic as a hideout. Hold on. So, one nigga escaped western Pennsylvania, came to Pennsylvania. One nigga escaped Pennsylvania, I mean Philadelphia. One nigga escaped Western Pennsylvania to come to Philadelphia. One nigga escaped Philadelphia to go to Western Pennsylvania. These niggas got to be the smartest niggas in the world. I know they've been to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, one of them institutions. Anything you. Thursday night, the big story on Action News tonight is the end to a manhunt that started Monday morning. Yes, Borden still in handcuffs managed to escape two officers during a trip to the hospital and today. He was captured nearly 250 miles away in Cambria County. Action News reporter Charles Watson covering the story for us. He's live at police headquarters tonight with the very latest. Charles. Yeah, Shari and Gray, this is a gratifying arrest for law enforcement who had come so close to capturing the lean Borden over the last few days. All along. Oh, yeah. Then they almost caught him again. They jumped on some train tracks. See you. Yeah, Eileen wasn't fucking around with the fuck around. You feel me? And to you. Um, they said they were confident they would have Borden in custody in a reasonable amount of time. And today, law enforcement made good on that promise. This is the moment the U.S. Eileen, show your face. The, the young boy, the young boy, girl, John, whoever it is. That nigga, that nigga was walking out with his head up. Why y'all be walking out with your head down? You ain't even got a murder. You got to escape charge, nigga. Pick your head up. Anything you. The marshal service caught their man, Aline Borden, the 29-year-old who escaped from Philadelphia police custody in Kensington early Monday morning. It marks the end to an exhaustive manhunt for law enforcement that stretched hundreds of miles. The marshal service, I think um, they're the best in the world at finding people who don't want to be found. Borden proved absolutely positively. Shout out to the marshal service. I ain't that good of a criminal. I don't ever make it to the marshal service. I haven't ever made it to the marshal service, and I'm probably not going to. I'm just saying, no, I was I was in court by the regular services. Right in the crib. It's in you. To be an elusive figure, first escaping from officers while handcuffed at Episcopal Hospital in Kensington. He then allegedly took cover at a house on the 2700 block of Hope Street, where he was later seen getting into this gold Honda. 
that led investigators to a home in the 5300 block of Columbia Avenue in Winfield, where officials say Borton jumped down a 30-foot embankment onto SEPTA tracks after a brief encounter with marshals on Tuesday. From there, Borton slipped away and allegedly had two associates drive him to Johnstown, Pennsylvania, where investigators tracked him to two residences, including the home on David Street, where the 29-year-old was allegedly caught hiding this afternoon. Nigga, what you had, your phone? Your watch? Nigga, it's just stupid, dumb, or retarded than a month. Supposed to let all that go. I'm not taking nothing electronic, not my goddamn cards. Nothing. I need all cash. I mean, you wasn't going to be running for that long anyway, so continue. Borden had secured himself in the attic crawl space. Deputy marshals breached the crawl space entry point, and Borden had to be forcibly removed from the attic. Borden is the seventh escapee U.S. marshals have captured in our area in the last year. Hold on. Isaiah Tillman was right here. Isaiah Tillman was all the way in West, came to Philly. See, them, these things must have been cut. They must have been talking on the phone or something. I uh, mean, where you was at? Right here. And they had to call all three of y'all niggas. Where, where my man board in there? I'm trying to see what you was in. You know, man, Anthony. Here, the 29 year old is said to have had help from multiple associates who possibly gave him devices that helped him communicate with people. With that in mind, U.S. Marshal Supervising Deputy Robert Clark says. He couldn't be prouder of the men and women who helped to bring Borden to justice. These are just motivated individuals. When cases like this arise, they are just um, dedicated uh, to bring that person in. Me too, uh, Officer U.S. Marshal, sir, whatever your name was. I'm dedicated to bringing them people with too, so that's the update. That nigga is speedy as a mug. That nigga jumped. Got from the police to the hospital with the handcuffs. Got away from an embankment. Nigga made it four hours away to Johnstown. Got into a crawl space. That nigga fast. However, we we got to bring you all the way back to Oklahoma so we can shut the f up. Right out of your stupid ass. You boot ass and Phoenix will split through Cape Hill Forest, rock you out behind Chester Mountain with Frank Hill Green. What are the recreational systems when you get the nigga calls? Let us know. Was you fighting the body? What was you going to jail for in the first place? In other news, we have a peace treaty. This is the shit I'm trying to get the kids to understand. I do not know who this person is. His name is Mudders at the top. He must be somebody significant to the... uh. Black Flags or Blumberg or Zoo Gang or somebody. So I'm going to read this. Part of my dyslexia is I can do this. That's four years of sliding. Four years of funerals. Four years of being on edge, man. Now it's time to do it. For the hood. These niggas risk their lights for this ish, man. I'm going to need the whole community to show all sides of love, the need to get this done. We bringing the MF and hood back. And regardless of if it get done or not, Know that them zoo slash Diamond Street niggas was ready to man up. Put some respect on their name. See, kids? They tired of this shit, too. They tired of going to funerals, too. So why jump off the porch if all the old niggas are like, oh, I'm tired of this. However, the next slide says, nigga slash drillers in my hood, back in my play 100%. But we got to understand that they've been at war for a long time. They never seen no end to this ish. We got to show them. This is going to take time to soften their hearts, but I'm going to need some help from everybody. And some people are going to say that, say what they want, but y'all not in them MF and cars these young niggas is. Put some respect on their name and respect their mind, hearts, decisions, and time for the hood. Nigga, lock these kids up. I'm not saying I don't want in. I'm just saying respect their mind. Put nigga. Put the gun down. And then what about what you mean? I don't even know how we can end this because y'all didn't already kill. We got we to gotta end this when everybody who killed somebody gets shot. The f <laughs> you know, they got boot their ass of Phoenixville, Smithville, Campville, Forest, Rock, you, Abion, Chester, Mahanoy, Frankville, Green, Dallas. One of them recreational centers, nigga, they can't. 
just be out here amongst the good civilians and you didn't drop something for no reason. However, uh, the next slide is, and shout out to my young niggas that's willing to put their pride aside and hear me out on both sides. Y'all niggas braver than y'all know. Grown men for the hood. That's a fact. If you willing. However, if you drilling and you killing, no, we definitely need to go see Uncle Lala. The next slide is, I don't know who this is, what they stuff, but they say, ish making me cry, bro, when I have for both sides, both parties, my homies, both sides die. Uh, uh, uh. So y'all see it. I ain't about to see her read all these back and forth uh, DMs. I'm just saying, kids, please don't make sure you make sure you're probably a stupid don't try to motherfucker. You're listening to some move, push you probably not gonna get in life. You're probably gonna embarrass your parents. Cause this is the type of shit makes was not true. Makes was actually worse than the world's box when I news revealing news report. We can box right on to a for my beat the fuck. Right out of you niggas. Fuck is wrong with you. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me.